Well, that concludes my South Dakota adventure. So I wanted to talk about my experience over the past couple days, three days to be exact, um, in South Dakota and kind of give my perspective on Sturgis because I, for the first time, really experienced it, which is ironic since I lived in uh, South Dakota for so long. Um, I never got into Sturgis. Uh, but this time around, I had some friends from New York, ironically, who were there for bike week. Um, and they invited me to tag along with them. And so I did. And I got to say, I enjoyed it. I, I had a good time. Um, I got to experience two major campgrounds, one with them and one on my own. Uh... You know, first it started out with some Badlands. I, I went with them to the Badlands and uh, basically, you know, I took some pictures. But for the most part, I was just with them. They were on their ride. You know, when you're on a motorcycle, they didn't stop too much. Um, so I was following them in uh, my car and stopping where they stopped. They stop off at like this little trading post in the middle of nowhere with some interesting stuff in there. I didn't film at the time. Um, but, you know, I was just enjoying their company and, you know, shit like that. Um, then they invited me to their campground, uh, which was interesting in perspective because there was a lot of RVs like I've never seen so many fancy fucking RVs in my life sorry if there's wind noise but I didn't get my rig out um, you know it I really enjoyed it though there, there was live music there was everybody was there, there was no fucking worry about certain things that Dr. Fauci wants you to worry about, um, particularly as he mentioned Sturgis uh, when he was criticizing things. Uh, of course, he left out, you know, Obama's birthday party and, you know, so the various other things going on at the border that are, you know, 
super spreader events. Um, at the end of the day, you're, you're talking to a bunch of uh, people on motorcycles, you know, three quarters of which aren't even wearing fucking helmets. Um, and which I don't agree with, by the way, uh, but that's, I'm biased as a trucker and seeing lots of accidents over the course of my life. But that being said, they are exercising their right under the law in South Dakota to live their life and maybe they want the wind to go through their hair with, you know, the slight increase in risk of, uh, if they crash, they probably have a less likely chance of making it. Um, so th that being said, it's not a lot of worry about, uh, the coof going on amongst pretty much everybody I saw. I mean, there was a, a, there was one dude at the, at one of the campgrounds yesterday when I went to see Anthrax and, uh, Black Label Society, uh, at the Buffalo Chip. <laughs> there was a guy wearing a, a legit gas mask, like over a re uh, respirator over his mouth. Um, and he didn't look like he was having a good time, but hey, if you want to breathe like Darth Vader, more power to you as long as you don't fucking make me do it. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's a lot of states where that is the norm, you know, because for the greater good, taking away our freedoms for the greater good. At the end of the day, if you're afraid, you don't have to go to these places. You don't have to be there. I'm not causing your relatives to get anything by participating in these free, you know, by freedom-minded events. And you don't have to go either. You know, well, you might go to the grocery store. That's where you're going to get it anyway. Regardless of whether or not I go into the grocery store, that's a, an avenue of transmission. If you are afraid, have it delivered. Um, I'm of the mind that if you have got the jab, you should not care whether I and others like me get it or not. It is a calculated risk on our parts. And... I'm willing to take my chances and I'm not willing to give up my freedom. And, you know, I'm also not willing to let you force me to do these things, regardless of what you try and take away. And that's what I got out of being in Sturgis is a, a dose, healthy dose of freedom. And I know it's not like that everywhere in this country right now, because there's a lot of states that are way stepping over the line there's a lot of corporations that are stepping over the line and I won't live like that and as long as I know that there are places I can go and there are states that are not doing this shit to you I'll go there as often as humanly possible so the more New York becomes a prison I will continue to escape and go places. And yes, I can't do international travel. Yes, I can't go to concerts in New York, probably. Um, I'm, I already heard the, the Foo Fighters is playing and requiring certain proof to get into their venue. Fine. I don't need to spend money in your state. I don't need to spend money in your economy. I will take my ball. I'll save up my money while I stay home while I'm in New York. And, and then I will come out to a place that allows me to spend my money properly and that doesn't care about trampling my constitutional rights because they're scared. There is fear here in South Dakota. It was in short supply in Sturgis. Not a lot of fear going on there. Um, and probably because people who are afraid didn't go. You know, that's your option exercise your own freedom but not by taking it away uh, from those around you because that's a slippery slope and once you go down that route you know that that's where you're at okay enough of the fucking rant about the jab um so overall of the two campgrounds i visited full throttle 
and buffalo chip. I enjoyed full throttle more. Now that's a little bit biased because I was there with friends. Um, but I like the setup more, like... But other than that, the Sturgis experience, if you're into live bands and you're into music, I also had a good time at Buffalo Chip, but for different reasons. I'll, I'll get into that shortly. Um, but if you're into motorcycles and pretty much every accessory under the sun, after the ride in, in, Stur in uh, the Badlands, um, I ended up, they needed to stop and get a tire. So I hung out with my friends at the Harley Davidson, Black Hills Harley Davidson, and that was like a little fair in and of itself. They had food and vendors and, and all of that, and it was fun. I liked seeing all the bikes and, and doing all of that, so I enjoy that. We sh shot some pellet guns, and you know you could buy silencers and, and, and all kinds of firearms right there at the fair. I was just like, yep, freedom's alive here. Overall, I, I enjoyed that experience. Uh, and yeah, I'm off my diet. I've completely failed at keto. Uh, even had cheese fries last night. But now that I'm out, all the shit in my car is keto. And I will try and, you know, get back on the horse, so to speak. Including with the alternate day fasting, which I also have fallen off of. Mainly because I was just having a good time. Um, I got into the mindset of, of vacation and, and all of that and being around everybody that was just having fun. Um, but you can only have fun so much. You can't have fun all the time. If you have fun all the time, your health fails. So I got to get back, get back on track as far as that's concerned. I'll do the best I can. I can't guarantee I'll stay on keto while I'm out here. But as long as I'm buying groceries and cooking them, that will be keto I, you know but if i eat out in a restaurant i'm gonna eat whatever um and see what happens because i do part of the fun of travel is experiencing the local foods i did not uh exceed my two drink limit at any moment during this entire trip in fact last night i didn't drink at all when i was uh at the concert um and i believe sturgis is a if you like live music and, and all of that kind of stuff you'll enjoy it if you are not big into buying shit you probably could skip the downtown scene unless you're into drinking your face off uh in which case you go to the bars and do all of that um but that's pretty much what the concert venues were as well you know lots of people drinking having a good time um and camping but it's not a requirement to have fun you know like Last night, I was at, here, here's some, I was really amazed they, at, at, uh, at Buffalo Chip. They let the bikes into the arena area, so people were pulling their motorcycles right in to where you would watch the band at.
And then a, a mosh pit formed for anthrax. And I was excited because it's the first mosh pit I've seen. It's the first mosh pit I've seen since the Koof. So, I, you know, I got on the, I didn't go in the middle, but I stayed on the outskirts and I helped keep, keep people from landing on bikes and shit. So I, I, I tangled here and there. Um, so there's that. If one of them had certain variants, I'm, I'm pretty much fucked. So, but you know, it is what it is there. I had a good time as you could see in the in the footage it's it was it was a fun show um then went to sleep in my prius got up and here i am in wyoming so i can recommend if you like merchandise that has to do with bikes or if you are a biker and you own a motorcycle if you don't do sturgis at least once in your life you're missing out there's definitely a a joining of cultures because it's not all and and i gotta say even with the mosh pit the it seemed pretty tame you know considering there's bikers everywhere you they they have this stereotype of it's going to be a shit show not only was it tame like i made some new friends while i was at the concert you know one guy offered to bring me some beers from his bike and i was like no thanks and so he brought me a water from his butt like a cold water um you know simply because i was helping guard a bike from people throwing them themselves around but i was really doing it because i wanted to throw some people <laughs> a little bit of getting that aggression out a little although i'm getting too old to jump in the middle um that being said there was some people older than me that were in there you know but i didn't want to be sore for my upcoming hikes Overall, I enjoyed my time. It wasn't planned. Like, this all just happened. I just went with the flow. And sometimes you get sucked into the most unexpected adventures when you just go with the flow. And that's what I did. So. But now, I'm moving forward. Onward. Um, I should be in Montana by the end of the day today. Hopefully, if I don't get distracted, I am going to stop and do a premiere from a previous video that you guys have already watched if you're watching this. Um, I'm starting to get in more remote areas, so my posts may take a while to get up, uh, depending on my internet while I'm out here. But, you know, I'm getting more and more to the west, which means more and more, like, uh more and more space with less and less cell coverage especially if i go off the beaten path which i'm prone to do but what the fuck do i know i'm not an expert i'm just an asshole let's see where this adventure takes me as i get into the west and the mountains and the wilderness and the deserts and living in the prius i've got some uh Living in the Prius tips coming up. I will try and do a live stream uh, sometime after you watch this video and uh, give you an update on how things are going on this trip. But I'm almost halfway th through. Let's see, what is today? So yeah, I'm almost uh, finished with my two weeks. So. I gotta say, I'm definitely, I'm, I've accumulated quite some memories to make this year not suck. So when I get back home in stagnant, authoritarian New York, I'll have captured some time, some freedom, and some memories for myself during a time when they are once again starting to crack down on so many places. Um, I, for those of you who are freedom-minded and not afraid... I hate to break it to you, you're going to have to do shit like this from time to time to escape the tyranny. Uh, ultimately, you could live out here and escape it full time, but there's still going to be little things that 
creep in, but ultimately it won't be the government telling you to do it. It'll be businesses and, and scared people telling you not on their yard. So have a nice motherfucking day and shit. And I'm going to try and stop at some out of the way places along my path to Yellowstone over the next couple days. Um, to see what Montana has to offer before I cut south into Yellowstone. But we'll see. Have a nice fucking day. Yeah, shit. And uh, fuck you, Fauci. Fuck you. Yep. You ain't taking this shit away. Sorry. You can pout all you want on your fucking... Uh, you know, ivory tower in the, your militarized zone that you live in and there in Washington, D.C., but out here in the world, there's a bunch of people who aren't fucking listening to you. And, uh, you know. And, and it's a shame that we have lost our faith in the medical system. At least those of us who can think. Just saying, you know. And if you just were insulted by me saying that, there's a lot of contradictions going on. There's a lot of hemming and hawing and mind changing going on and a lot of money changing hands. Uh, but I ain't going to spend money in that shit. So. All right, I'm done. <laughs> shit. <laughs>